Hey, do you make excuses? <laughs> right? Uh, I, ah, uh, excuses, right? I had a buddy who told me one time, excuses are like armpits. Everybody's got a couple of them. He's a weirdo. Uh, anyway, we all do. We all make excuses, right? I mean, sometimes uh, we make a mistake and we make some excuse. If we're playing baseball and we drop a fly ball, it's because the sun was in our eyes. If we're playing soccer and we miss hit it, you know, we kick the turf. If there was, uh, you know, some happening going on somewhere, well, you know, something happened over there and then I tripped and then there was this big thing and there was a bump in the right, right? Always, we can make excuses for anything, for our actions, our behavior, our words, right? And it reminded me of a scripture. Jesus is talking to the Pharisees, and he always kind of had these run-ins with the Pharisees who were trying to trap him and trip him up and put him in prison and try to kill him, you know, really great friends. And um, he says to them, I want to tell you a parable. Uh, a vineyard owner has two sons, and he goes to the first son, he says, hey, I want you to go, and I want you to w work in the vineyard for me today, and the first son says, ah, I'm not doing that. That's stupid. I, I don't feel like it. I'm too tired. I got other things to do. That's ridiculous. I'm your son. I'm not doing that stuff. And the father laughed, and a little while later, the son reconsidered. He's like, yeah, I shouldn't have talked to my dad like that. I'm going to go over, and I'm going to work in the vineyard. And he went, and he, and he worked in the vineyard. Well, while the father was away, he goes to the second son. And he goes to the second son, hey, I want you to go and I want you to work in the vineyard for me. And the second son says, yes, father, dear, you're the best father in the world. Of course, I'll go and work in the field for you because you're number one. And the father walks away and the kid goes, ha, that's stupid. I'm not doing that. That's a ridiculous thing. And he doesn't go any work in the vineyard. And he says, Jesus says to the Pharisees, now, which of those two sons did the will of his father? And they said, the first son. Of course, because he went and worked in the vineyard. And he said, here's the thing. You guys act like you're all religious. You go to the temple, you give money, you look like you're the high and mighty religious elite, but your hearts, they're horrible. They stink. And as a matter of fact, prostitutes and tax collectors are going to get into heaven before you. Whew. Pharisees got burned up about that one. But here's the thing. There's excuses that we can all make, correct? We can say, we're not going to do this, we're going to do that, but it comes down to this. What's our heart all about? Are we listening to God when he calls us, when he calls us and says, hey, I want you to go and I want you to call Aunt Mary. And you're like, I haven't talked to Aunt Mary in six months. Call Aunt Mary. Are we going to call Aunt Mary or are we going to say, I got better things to do, that's stupid, I'm not calling Aunt Mary. There's some homeless kids that live down the street. You should go and you should work with them and try to help them out. There's an addicted guy that lives across the road from you. Maybe you should go over there and talk to him and tell him about Jesus. There's some uneducated people that could really use some tutoring. Maybe you could help them. And Maybe there's a single mom with three kids that could really use some assistance. What? And we go, no, or we go, yes. We can make excuses, or we can listen to God. May God continue to pour out His grace, mercy, and blessings on each and every one of us until we get to meet again. Amen? Amen.